Oh, well, slow news day, which is great because I don't have to pump out four or five videos on Stellantis sinking like the Titanic. But, uh, yeah, got, do have a video about Stellantis today. I saw this over on CNBC. It just broke. I'll put it up here for you guys on the screen as soon as we come back from the intro. All right, guys, so welcome on back to TK's Garage. Stellantis is shuttering and selling its large testing facility amid cost-cutting efforts. When I saw the high, when I saw the uh, the headline, I immediately was like, oh, this is where they're going to close CTC. But nope, this is the uh, automaker Stellantis to close its large vehicle proving grounds in Arizona at the end of this year. The Arizona Proving Grounds used to develop and test vehicles covers 4,000 acres between Phoenix, Las Vegas, in uh, Phoenix and Las Vegas in Yucca, Arizona. The decision is the latest cost-cutting measure by the Transatlantic Automaker under CEO Carlos Tavares. Again, more cutting, and they're going to sell real estate. This is what's going on with Brampton right now. Um, I might have a video on that later today once I'm able to confirm a couple more things. It's not looking too good for that facility to reopen, um, being that it might just be sold. And uh, we might have something else on Belvedere as well, so stay tuned for that video. But uh, the uh, decision is the latest cost-cutting measure by CEO Carlos Tavares, who has been increasingly under pressure from Wall Street dealers and the united auto workers union amid the company's lagging financial performance layoffs and overall business decisions the uh, arizona proving ground like i said is a little over four thousand acres between phoenix and las vegas um, chrysler purchased the property for 35 million dollars from ford motor company in 2007 as of July 2019, the operations employed 69 people, including workers represented by the local chapter of the UAW. So, you guessed it, more layoffs. The closure was confirmed by three people familiar with plans who agreed to speak on the condition of anonymity because the matters are private. That's right. Everybody that works at Stellantis right now in the executive branch is telling. Because they're worried about their jobs too, right? They think that Carlos Tavares is damaging the company so much that they're all going to lose their jobs. So what happens when that kind of stuff happens? They start telling. Duh. Stellantis plans to use a proving grounds in Arizona owned by Toyota Motor beginning next year, according to two people familiar with the decision. Toyota opened its operations, which are, which are costly to maintain for other companies to use in 2021. So they'd probably rather rent than own. Okay. Stellantis confirmed the closure Friday morning, citing the company's ongoing cost-cutting and real estate <clears throat> evaluations. Stellantis continues, this is a quote, Stellantis continues to look for opportunities to improve efficiency and optimize its footprint to ensure future competitiveness competitiveness in today's rapidly changing global market the company said in an emailed statement the automaker also said quote it is working with the uaw to offer proving ground employees special packages or they can choose to follow their work in a transfer of operations, but that employees would be placed on an indefinite layoff, which would entitle them to pay and benefits for two years. Man, uh, it's just crazy. And they also talk about, um, they also talk about some of the other sites that could be and are already cut. A majority of other operations 
uh, distribution centers that were expected to be so consolidated into mega sites, as well as the company's 500 acre campus in Metro Detroit, formerly used as Chrysler's world headquarters. So, in closing, what does that mean for sites like CTC? Well, the status of other properties was not immediately clear. However, local and state politicians, including Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, have expressed concerns that Stellantis could move to shutter the former headquarters in Auburn Hills, Michigan. Now, we talked about this, I don't know, like over a month and a half ago, that CTE was going to be shut down and that Stellantis was looking at selling it. I think it's part of the reason why the BYD executives were walking around there because they probably would have made that their American headquarters um, if they were buying up Chrysler assets. Now, that still could be the case and they don't buy Chrysler and maybe they're just buying real estate like the offices, you know, CTC, uh, maybe Belvedere, maybe a couple of other facilities. But uh, it'll be interesting to see. Um that is a uh, very, very interesting. They talk about the numbers of employees that are left uh, with Stellantis. The the automaker had about eleven thousand U.S. salaried employees at the end of last year. Uh, that compared with fifty three thousand at GM and twenty eight thousand at Ford. The reductions have occurred as Stellantis has attempted to outsource many engineering efforts to lower cost countries such as Brazil, India, and Mexico. Uh, Bloomberg News earlier this year reported that Stellantis moved to recruiting a majority of its engineering workforce in those countries. They said it's uh, about $53,000 less a year per employee to do that. Mm, shocker. Not a surprise. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this story in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about uh, Stellantis? you know, selling the facility in Arizona. But do you think they're going to also get rid of CTC? I think this is one of the first dominoes. I think we'll end up seeing Brampton being sold. I think we'll see a couple of other facilities being sold. And like I said, there's, you know, the stuff that came out from the Wall Street Journal, they're going to end up moving Ram production down there to Mexico. I think it's a matter of time between before it's maybe Sterling Heights left and maybe Jefferson and and maybe, you know, one shift at Toledo when that's all that's going to be left of Stellantis in the United States. Anyways, give the video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, stay petty, my friends.